I'll entertain questions later on. So thank you for attending the class. Right, so now we are going to discuss the continuation of our, our WooCommerce plugin. So just to let you know, yung mga bagong dating, this is about building an e-commerce website. Yung kumbaga magbebenta ka ng products online, okay? Tuturuan ko ko kayo kung paano mag-build ng ganong website. It's like Zalora, Lazada siguro, or mga, yung mga nakikita nyo online, yung mga nagbebenta, okay? So, dito, ganun din yung gagawin natin. And we already discussed about the first um, WooCommerce setup. So, how to install the plugin WooCommerce, how to create like the variable product, simple product. Ano pala? Ngayon ko pala discuss yung simple product. And how to set up your uh, shipping payments, shipping methods. And right now, this is the continuation since we don't have enough time before. This is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 discussions. First thing that we need to do is to create a creating simple product so the last time that i taught you guys i i haven't got the time to get this um discuss so we're going to discuss this creating simple product creating group products ito yung kumbaga hoodie ganun or books tapos kung ano anong variety ng books yan upsells and cross sells setting up paypal set, setting up stripes uh, promo. So, dito mag a din tayo mga promo-promo code. Yung mga, ano, yung mga parang binibigay nila Lazada, Eklabu, ganon. And creating coupons. Ayan, yung mga coupons-coupons na yan. And also, hold on. Okay, Elementor. So, eto yung gagamitin natin. Elementor plugin as well. And then, Elementor Hello Theme. Yan yung ating gagamitin. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to log into our page. So, pumunta ako ngayon sa aking e-commerce. Ayan, .jchapche.com forward slash wp-admin. So, I'm going to type in now my password. Okay, so give me just a second. Alright, so ayan, maglalagin lang tayo sa glit. Okay, dito muna yan sa gilid. Here we go. So, it's kind of loading now. Alright, so let's wait for it. Okay, so now we can see our dashboard. So, the last time that we have discussed, uh, nakita natin kung ano yung laman ng ating visit store. Kumbaga, ito na yung mga na pinag a natin last time. Okay, so what I click was here. Ayan, ito pa lang yung na-add natin. So, Harry Potter books to 1 to 7, tapos Harry Potter scarhead. Ayan. So, ito pa lang yung na-add natin sa store natin. Um, pangit pa yung website natin kasi hindi pa tayo nakakapag-install ng theme at di pa natin siya na-edit. We are just focusing on the WooCommerce for the meantime. Okay? Alright, so now let's go back to the dashboard and... First thing that we need to do, try to create a simple product. So, pupunta tayo ngayon ulit sa ating products kasi dito nakalagay yung mga pinaglalagay nating mga products na ibebenta natin. Um, just to let you know guys, ang ating product na nilalagay is Harry Potter. All about Harry Potter. Ayan, Potterhead. So, ito na yung mga napag a ko. And we are going to add another product. Okay, so let's just click on add new dito sa gilid. So once you click on add new, pwede ka na ulit maglagay ng title ng product mo. So I'm thinking of books. Alright, so what I'm going to do is to, ano ba yung ating magandang book? So let me see here. Siguro type ko si... Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. No, oh, ganda. Oh, ito na lang. Fantastic Beast. Uh, beast. Fantastic Beast. Beast. And where to find them. So, let me just type in. Kasi ayaw niyang mag-copy and paste. Fantastic Beast. And where to find them. 
Ayan. So, ang ilalagay natin dito, dito yung description ng iyong product. So, let me just, siguro ito na lang, ilagay na lang natin. Ayan. 8 book of Harry Potter. Ayan. So, yun lang. by JK. JK Rowling. So guys, bawat product na meron kayo, dapat lalagyan nyo siya ng description, okay? So I'll just copy this. Ito yung description ng product ko. Paste ko lang dito sa baba. You can actually change this. Ito yung short description. Ibig sabihin, ito yung magpapakita pag sinelect mo yung mismong book or sinelect mo yung mismo product. Okay? So you can actually change this into like a really long summary description. Mga ganyan. Okay? So I'm just going to make it simple. Now, um, I suggest that we do create a simple product first. So, you can see here on the bottom, it says product data. May tatlo yan. One, uh, apat pala. One is simple product. The other one is group product, which will di be discussed later on. The other one, external affiliate product. So, yung mga affiliated yan na product sa iba. Variable product. So, I already discussed this variable product uh, the last uh, discussion or the last class. The previous class na lang pala. So, now, let's select simple product. Okay. May kita nyo dito sa gilid niya. General, inventory, shipping, link products, attributes, advance, and get more. Now, in order for us to do the simple product, we just have to add the regular price. So, ang regular price ng book na to, sabihin na natin kasi nga dahil um, mahal tong book na to, gawin natin 800. Ayan. Tapos, sale price. Pwede ka actually mag-select ng sale price. Asabi na lang natin 1,000 to. Okay. And then, magsa-sale price ako into 800. So, sale price, ibig sabihin, binibenta mo siya sa mas murang halaga. Okay. So, yan na. Pwede mo siyang, pwede mo siyang i-schedule kung kailan. Ayan, may kita mo dito yung date. Kagaya ng ginagawa, for example, ng Lazada or Zalora. Um, kada... 1-1 one, one or 12-12, kada month ng parehas na number, ba? Ang ginagawa nila, nag schedule sila ng sale price. So, ganito lang yung ginagawa nila. nag schedule sila isa-isa sa mga products or pwede naman in everything. So, may mga particular codes lang sila. I'll be discussing that later on, okay? Alright, so now inventory. Since we already add the pricing details here, okay, let's do the inventory. So, ilang ba yung stocks natin? Sabihin natin dalawa lang. Okay. So, allow back orders. For example, gusto pa nilang mag-order pero out of stock na, papayagan mo ba sila? It says here, do not allow. Allow but notify customer. Allow. So, back order means you can give them the product. Okay. Eh, but it will be not, it will not be available at the moment. Pero pwede mong sabihin sa kanila kung kailan. So, let's say, allow but notify customer. So, mas okay yan. Now, sold individually, enable this to allow, only allow one of this item to be bought in a single order. So, pwedeng ito lang yung pwede niyang maselect itong product lang na to. So, I won't enable that kasi, syempre, pag mag-check out si customer, gusto ko madami siyang products. Now, shipping, kung mabigat ba to, pwede mong gawing 2 kilos. For example, nagbebenta kayo ng mga table, laptop table, mga furniture. Siyempre, kailangan nyo yung weight. Kailangan nyo din yung length, width, and height nung mismong uh, binibenta nyo. Kasi, for example, if this is a furniture, yung mga tipong mga gagamitan sa bahay, minsan talagang tinitignan nila yung centimeter, yung length, yung width, yung size ng kanilang uh, table. Kasi pag malaki, syempre, tapos malit yung bahay, edi mahirap naman yun, ba? So, you need, really need to emphasize this. But since this is just a book, okay, it's much better for me to just exclude this or accept this um, kind of uh, option on the WordPress. So, now, shipping class, kung hardbound ba to, okay, dito mo maseselect yung shipping class. Kung hardbound ba, mas mahal. So, na-discuss na ko na to the last time kasi nag-create tayo ng shipping class. So, for example, may hardbound ako, so I'll select hardbound. Hardbound itong binibenta ko, okay? Now, link products, pwede kang 
actually maglink ng products dito, eto na yung tinatawag nilang upsell and cross-sell. Okay, pero I'll discuss that later. So, attributes, okay, pwede kang mag-save ng attributes yan kung may size ba yan or say for example mga kung ano-ano. But since this is just a book, I will not add any attributes to it. Walang color, walang ano. So, yan lang. Simple product lang talaga siya. Purchase note. Mag-iwan ka ng notes dito. Sabihin mo lang ng thank you. Ayan. Thank you for purchasing Emerald. Mga ganon. Pwede nyo naman i-ano yan. Tapos, get more options. Ito, bayad na to. So, if you have like, um, money naman para ba, um, bayaran to. Eh, diba? Di, go ahead. But, I don't have. So, ito lang tayo. <laughs> Now, moving forward, here on the left side, oh, sorry, right side, you can see here if we are going to publish it, alright? So, later on, if we publish natin yan, but we need to categorize this. Now, you can see here na book itong binibenta natin, so I'll categorize this into books, okay? <coughs> now, let me see here. Product tags, so for example, pag sinerch nila yung Harry Potter, makukuha nila yan. Pag sinerch nila yung mismong title, okay? Ayan, makukuha nila yan. Tapos, Fantastic Beast lang. Ayan. Fantastic. Ayan. So, yan na yun. And, choose more tags. Product image. Ito na, magsaselect na tayo ng product image dito. So, I already add my product image sa gallery ko. So, nakaredy na lahat siya sa media gallery ko. Okay. So, let me just select pala. Kailangan ko pa palang i-upload yun. I forgot. Okay. So, let's just wait for this. Okay. Here we go. Alright. So, nasa nga ba yun? Dito ko ata siya nilagay. Sa ating desktop. Okay. Acquire yan. Alright. So, it's taking so long. Okay, well, we are waiting. Let's entertain here. Okay, here we go. Products like ebooks of Harry Potter, yes. This is just an example. Pwede rin namang books. Books na mismo, books talaga siya. Pero this is just an example, ha. Parang hindi, hindi, hindi ito totoo. Hindi <laughs> totoo. Ano na lang to, um, for example, or for classes, class purposes lang, okay? But I have a copy of ebooks. If you would like, guys, I can send them to you via email. I have a complete Harry Potter books, physically, and yon mga online, mga ebook. Alright, so this is my product. So, I'll just open this. Okay, upload na natin siya. And here we go. So, once in upload, let's select the image here. So, ayan na siya. Ayan na yung itsura niya. Select product image. Since wala ako ng back na photo ng ating fantastic piece, ayan lang yun. Uh, let's just select na lang for for WooCommerce purposes lang. Ayan. So, ayan na siya. Okay na. Ready to publish na siya. Ito na. May category na siya. Tags and everything. Kompleto na tong uh, description ko. Ayan. Simple product. Let's just publish and let's see. So, that's how you create like the simple product. So, for example, nagbebenta ka ng um, bracelet. You can actually just do that on a simple product. Okay. And then, let's just visit or view the product. Okay. Click here on the view product. Ayan. Ito na siya. Fantastic Beast, beast and where to find them. So, ito na yung itsura niya. Nadoble yung ating picture dito. Parehas lang naman. And may kita nyo dito yung sale price. So, from 1,000, we did it to 800. So, ito yung uh, buong ano niya. May stock na siya. Two stocks can be back ordered. So, kompleto siya dito. Category and everything. Now, you can see here on the bottom yung mismong description niya. Sabi ko sa inyo, pwede nyo pahabain yan and everything. Ito, may related products na siya. So, our website is really messy. Wala talaga. Tsaka, no? Pero, don't worry, guys. Papagandahin natin yan. Kagaya ng pagpapaganda yung sa mga buhay nyo. Alright. So, let's go back now. The next thing that we need to discuss is group creating a group product. So, what 
is group products. So technically, yung group products, kagaya siya ng books, um, clothes, mga ganon. So kumbaga, in general siya. So ang kagagawin natin ngayon, mag-create tayo ng group products. Mas madali kasi siyang hanapin. Siyempre, for example, sa naglalasada ka ganon or nag-online shopping ka, you would like to search for the group of clothes, ganon, o doon mo may kita, bawat nakakategorize na siya. Tapos, may suggestion na agad na group products na about hoodies, about books, mga ganon. So, very basic lang naman to, so don't worry guys. So, go back now to our products, and then, click on add new. Okay, so next thing that we need to do is to add a group product. So let's just say, okay, hold on. Let's just say books. Ayan. Yan yung group product ko. So all about, all about Harry Potter. Ayan. So dito, dito na tayo makakapag-select. Copy lang natin to, sorry. Ayan. And then, click natin to sa product data and then select group product. Ayan na siya. So, may kita nyo dito guys yung SKU. Pwede nyo namang, ano to, ito. SKU refers to stock keeping unit. A unit, sorry, a unique identifier for each distinct product and service that can be purchased. So, I do not use this most of the time. Identifier lang naman siya. So, pwede nyo ilagay kahit ano. Sabihin nyo ng Harry Potter, ganun. HP Books. So, ayan. Ayan na yan. Then, link products. So, pwede nyo i-link na ngayon ang ating products. So, for example, si Fantastic Beast. Fantastic Beast. Ayan. Mag-a-appear siya dito. So, kumbaga, isa-select mo lahat ng mga pinag a mong books. Harry Potter. Ayan, hanapin natin yung mga pinag a nating books. Ayan, 1 to 7. There you go. So, ito pa lang yung na-add kong books. So, dalawa pa lang sila. Let's just add that. Upsell. Okay, let's do that later on. Attributes. Ito na yung mag a ka ng kung ano-anong attributes like color, sizes. But since this is like books, okay, so just don't worry about that. Alright, so advanced menu order, we can just leave it the way it is, get more options, just ignore that, then move over to the right side of the screen. Now, let's categorize it under books, okay? Product tags, books, lagay natin puro books lang, about Harry Potter. Okay, so yan, okay na yan siguro. Select product image. So, select natin lahat ng image dito. Ayan. Saan pa yung mga libro ko? Ayan, ayan, ayan. Ay, sorry. Control, control. Ay, isa lang pala. Sorry. Ito pala. Ayan na lang. Tapos, select product image. Ayan. And then, product gallery. Dito na tayo mag add ng mga madaming picture. Ayan. Ayan, select natin lahat ng libro dito. Okay. Ayan. So, let's see here. Ayan, ma-select kanina. Ayan, konti pa. Here we go. Okay, add to gallery. Ayan na siya. So, lahat ng books ko, sinelect ko lahat, pinag a ko sa gallery. Kasi ito na yung magiging itsura niya. Pa-publish na natin siya, guys. And then, let's see what will happen. Okay, so, view product. This is for creating a group product. Ayan na siya. And here we go. So, dito mo na may kita yan. Lahat ng books na related or lahat ng categories mo na related sa books, ito na yung magpapakita. So, may kita mo dito yung Fantastic Beast. Ang pangit talaga ng website natin, nakakairita. But don't worry guys, as mentioned, ayusin natin yan. So, may kita mo dito yung lahat ng category ng books mo. Fantastic Beast, um, Harry Potter, books 1 to 7. So, eto yung makikita mo. Ayan. SKU, HP Books, Product Category. Ayan. Okay. So, eto na yung mga related products niya and everything. So, yan yung sinasabi nating group products. So, technically, may kita nyo dito, naka-add na lahat ng books na meron tayo. So, for example, you would like to categorize it on a group product lang. Okay. 
para makita agad ni customer mo kung ano yung meron dun sa group product na yon For example, naghahanap siya ng mga clothes, ilagay mo lahat ng mga clothing uh, related products mo dito sa group products. So, pwede mo siyang ilagay doon. Okay? Alright, so next is, since tapos na tayo sa group products, let's do the upsell and cross-sell. Now, let's go back to our dashboard. And puntahan natin ngayon si cross-sell at si upsell. So, what are the difference between these two? So, yung difference ng upsell, okay, may kita natin dito ngayon. Hold on. Punta muna tayo sa ating dashboard para mapakita ko sa inyo. Okay, so it's taking some time. Hi guys, don't worry. Sa mga late, you can actually view this recording mga bukas siguro pag na-upload na ng ating master na si William. Si Boss William. Okay, still taking some time. Let me just refresh. Alright, so... Pag ganun guys, ipilit natin, ano, i-stop natin, tapos ipilit ulit natin, i-refresh natin para naman mag-refresh nga everything. So, let's me, let me click on all products, okay? So, we're gonna do the upsell and cross-sell. So, puntaan natin ngayon si Fantastic Beast. I'm going to edit, okay? And then, may kita nyo dito kanina sa my... Hold on. Nasaan na ba siya? Kanina. Cross-sell and upsell. Okay. Ito na siya. Nasa link products siya. Kung baga, pag sinabing upsell, pwede pag nakabenta ka ng libro, okay, or pag bineview nila yung product, may makikita ka ng you may also like at the bottom. Now, yung sa cross-sell, okay, kapag ka nag-add to cart ka na, may magpapakita rin na product doon na mas maganda kaysa sa product na nilalagay mo. So, kumbaga, magkocross-sell ka doon. Okay, so let's just say, ang i ko dito ay si Harry Potter na scarhead na scarhead na t-shirt. Ayan. And then, sa cross-sell, mag a ako ng Harry Potter na yung book ng 1 to 7. Uh, 1 to 7. 1 to 7. Searching now. So, ito. Books 1 to 7. Now, isa-save lang natin siya. You don't have to change anything here unless you would like to. Okay? Ito lang siya si upsell at saka si cross-sell. Now, let's go ahead and click on update. Ayan. So, let's see now kung anong magiging itsura niya. Then, let's go to view product. Alright. So, viewing the product right now. And you will see here if you scroll down. Guys, may kita nyo ni dito si You May Also Like. So, dito kanina, as you remember, dito ko nilagay si Upsell. Ayan. So, kumbaga, pag naglagay ka dun sa Upsell, eto yung magiging itsura niya. You May Also Like. Now, you can see here kung pwede niya paano niya mabibili and everything like that. The next thing that we need to do is to check kung nasan naman yung cross-sell. All we need to do is to click on Add Cart. Okay, as you remembered, guys, pag clinic mo yung ad card, may kita mo na dito si... Asa ah, na siya? Di pala, check out pala. Alright, so may kita mo na dito si view card. Dapat makikita na natin dito si... There, there you go. So, you may be interested in Harry Potter books 1 to 7. So, yung purpose lang naman yan, guys... Ang upsell, okay, is a different product. So, say for example, related lang, pero different product siya like yung mga clothing and etc. Now, upsell, ay yung cross-sell is much higher than that. So, yun yun. Alright, so yun yung ating group product. Now, for example, I think when you shop to Lazada and Shopee. Yes, correct. The sample. Upsell ata ay parang sa McDo or Jollibee na tinatanong kung gusto pa natin dagdagan ng order natin ng large fries and drinks. Tama po ba, coach? Oh, tama naman yun. Alam nyo ba, um, commercial, nagtrabaho ako sa Jollibee for 5 years. Kaya kong mag ng burger in 2 seconds. Yung mga ganun. Yung mga parang lightning na naano. <laughs> Nalala ko po nun. Kasi kahit nakapigat ako, naalala ko yung 
pinaggagawa ko sa Jollibee noon. Kasi in five years, yun lang yung ginagawa ko para kung si Spongebob. Nagluluto ng burger, nagtaturn-turn ng patty, gagawa ng aloha burger. Tapos, ang pinaka-worst doon na nangyari sa akin sa Jollibee, nag-amoy patty ako, nag-amoy baka ako. Hanggang, hanggang ngayon, oh, amoy baka pa rin ako. Ganun. <laughs> Pag matagal ka na sa Jollibee, ganun mangyayari sa'yo. O, oh, di ba? Ganun-ganun talaga. Ganon talaga. Tapos, tapos, meron pa. Siyempre, working student ako, no? Pag nakasakay ako sa jeep, nahiya ako kasi dumidikit yung amoy nga ng pati. Kasi after shift, after shift ko, papasok na ako sa school. Wala na akong time mag-shower kasi nga, baka mapasma ko. Ganon. One time, dalawa kami ng kaklasik ko. Parehas kami nag-jollibee kasi. Parehas kami ng subject. Sa subject lang na yon Parang back subject, ganon. Pumasok kami parehas. Tapos, mas gusto nilang katabi. Mas gusto nilang katabi yung isa kong ano, katrabaho. Sabi ko, bakit mas gusto nyo siyang katabi? Amoy spaghetti siya eh. Nakakatakam. Eh, ikaw amoy burger, amoy baka ka. <laughs> ayaw, niya, ayaw nila sa akin napapahiya. So, yun. Hindi ka, nag-ano na ako. Nag, Nag-cashier na lang ako after nun. Kaso nga lang, alam nyo ba nangyari sa akin sa cashier? Araw-araw akong nasyo-short. 100, 200, 300, 500. My God! Kaya hindi ko inano yung pagiging ano eh. Yung mga accounting na yan. Mga math-math na yan. Nilayuan ko talaga yan. Kasi na-trauma ako. Kasi yung sahod ko nun, nung nasa Jollibee ako, is 45 pesos lang per hour. Tapos working student pa ako. Ngayon, pagka after shift ko, macha-charge pa ako ng 100, 200. Pamasahe ko na nga lang. Nakakaiyak na. Sabi ko gano'n, hindi ba magre-resign na po ako, hindi ko na po kaya. Ganun pa ako, iyak artista pa ako noon eh, ganun-ganun pa ako. Hindi ko na po kaya, ano, lipat nyo na lang po ako or magre-resign po ako. Tapos, nilipat ulit nila ako, ginawa nila ako ulit na grill. O, balik pati na naman ako, amoy pati na naman ako. So, yun na yung nangyari. Okay, going back. Commercial na yun. <laughs> Alright, setting up PayPal. So, PayPal guys, Matalas ba kayong gumagamit ng PayPal o hindi? Ako kasi, on my experience, parang most of the time, mga American lang gumagamit ng PayPal. But I, but I tried to set up my own PayPal account. So, kung madami kayong PayPal, madali lang naman siya, pero never ko pa siyang nagamit actually sa online or sa, ano, sa mga Lazada or Shopee. Tumatanggap na ba sila ng PayPal? Parang hindi pa ata. Okay, so going back here to our dashboard. So yun yung ating group products. Okay, so natapos na natin si group products and simple product. Alright, so amoy pera ka. <laughs> Nang lag-cashier ako, amoy pera na ako. <laughs> Hindi, wala akong pera nga eh. Amoy barya lang. It's very disappointing that you change the schedule earlier at just short notice. Oh, did I change the schedule? I'm not really sure po. But I already discussed this before, I think. Matagal na po nilang sinabi. Ano po ba yung dati? Sorry, Ma'am Lourdes. Tama naman yung schedule ko, di ba? Tama ba, guys? 9 p.m. Right? Yes. Now it's 9 p.m. Yes, tama naman 9 p.m. Asan ba yun? Let's go back here. Ah, ang gagamitin nating theme ay hello theme. Hello. Parang ganun. Parang kang nasa bar. Sabihin mo lang, hello. Ganun. So, Ma'am Lourdes, I announced, ano, 9 p.m. po. It's not 9.30. Okay, so don't worry, Ma'am, kasi ito po siya. 9 p.m. So, don't worry po, Ma'am Lourdes, it will be recorded. So, don't worry, it will be up in no time. So, sa ano na, i-upload naman po yan ni Master William. Okay, so going back here, guys. 
we are going now to discuss the setting up the PayPal. So now, let's do here, kung may mga ano kayo, kung meron kayong mga Amerikano or mga client na gusto magpagawa, of course, ng website, and they would like you to set up a PayPal, it's really important. Kasi lahat na itakal natin lahat. Kasi we're talking about international naman na client nyo eh. Kasi mas madaming nagpapagawa sa kanila. Actually, dahil sinasabi nila mas mura mag kuha ng developer sa Pilipinas. Totoo naman yun. Okay, anyways. Going back here, let's go and into our WooCommerce. And then, we're gonna go to our settings. Alright, inom lang ako ng tubig sa glit, guys. Commercial ulit. Kasi ask ko lang ko sana if paano maalis ang tag na naka-display sa single product kaso na Astra po theme ko. Ah, uh, Astra yung theme mo. Pwede mo siyang uh, actually i-change. Ay. Yan ang mahirap pag ano, eh, gumagamit ng theme. Minsan kasi mahirap nang i-change kung ano yung platform na meron siya. I'll try to help you out, pero kukunin ko yung login mo ng WordPress mo. Just to make sure kasi I'm not really trained for Astra theme. But I can try, try and help you out. Let's figure it out together. Hmm? May ganun. Okay, so pag may PayPal business account po tayo, kaya po nating tumanggap ng credit card and debit card. That is correct. Iba na kasi yung breadcrumb. Anyways, going back right here guys, nandito na tayo sa ating WooCommerce setting. Dito na natin nakikita yung general, product, shipping, payments, accounts and privacy, email, and advance. So, basically, ito yung setting kung, ng ating WooCommerce, ng ating shopping or ng ating store. Okay? So, now, since we are going to do the PayPal, let's click on payments. Alright. So, you can see here, guys, na meron tayong iba't ibang ways para mag-add ng payment. Meron tayong direct bank transfer. Okay? You can actually set that up meron tayong PayPal. So, I think I already discussed this, right? But let me just tackle this once more. Pero, i-discuss muna natin yung PayPal. Okay. So, now you can see here PayPal. So, PayPal is a standard that redirects the customer to PayPal to enter their, their payment information. So, technically, guys, on my experience, yung PayPal, okay, ang gagawin mo sa kanya is like an online, ano eh, online payment method. Kumbaga, para siyang Paymaya or something like that. However, i-connect mo siya sa mismong card mo. So, technically, yung PayPal na yan, kaya mo siyang lagyan ng, ng pera, okay? Pwede mo rin siyang i-direct sa mismong card mo. So, for example, si customer bumili gamit yung PayPal, tapos nag-decline or walang pera yung PayPal niya mismo, kailangan niyang loadan yun or lagyan ng pera. Now, if it's connected to his card, you don't have to, you know, uh, add some cash to it. Magdadirect na yan, nadeduct sa kanyang card. So, yun yung PayPal. Okay, so let's turn it on. And then, we're gonna set it up. Let's just click on the setup. Now, you can see here, enable and disable uh, PayPal. Siyempre, enable natin yan. Okay, and now title, you can actually change the title and just do it like this. Siyempre, PayPal siya. Pwede mo naman gawing Tagalog. Anong Tagalog ng PayPal? Eh, joke lang. Hindi ko alam. Description, so pay via PayPal. You can pay with your credit card if you don't, if you don't have a PayPal account. So, yeah, absolutely. Now, my email here, I think with my PayPal email is charinaacquar at yahoo.com. Guys, ang dami kong email, sa totoo lang. Tapos nalalockout pa ako. charinaacquar at yahoo.com. Wala naman kasi bayad mag-add ng email eh. So, pwede ako mag-create ng kahit anong email. Tapos magre-register ako ng Netflix free for one month. Kada email. Tapos i-coconnect mo siya sa PayPal ko. Hmm? Ano naman mga scammer. <laughs> Okay, so PayPal Sandbox, okay. What you can do here is can be used to test payments, okay. We are going to test the payment, so later on we can do that. Now, debug log, so let's just 
Log PayPal events and pin request. May mga ganyan. I don't want to add that. It's a lot of work. Enable pin email, IPN email. Send notification to IPN receive. Yes, of course. We need that. Receiver email, okay, that's correct. PayPal identity token, just leave that the way it is. Pwede ka kasi mag-add ng token dyan, isa send sa email mo, but it's a lot of work, as mentioned. Now, send shipping details to PayPal instead of billing. No, let's just do that. Address override to prevent address from inform being changed. Mm, let's not just click on it. Capture and ito, authorize. Payment action and authorize. Capture na lang. Ayan. Page style. Optional lang naman to. Optional din tong image URL. Ayan. API. Enter your PayPal credentials to process your refunds. Emerald. How to access your PayPal API. So, ito. Kailangan natin mag-login sa ating PayPal account. May kita nyo na doon yung username and password, tapos yung signature. I won't do that kasi it's personal na. But you can actually add this, but it's optional, guys. So, you don't have to actually add it. Ang gulo ko, no? Pero yon, di mo naman na kailangan mag-add yan. Alright, so since we're gonna test this payment, let's just enable the PayPal sandbox natin. Hindi pala, ito pala. Ah... Uh... Test payment automatic. PayPal sandbox. Add K and then save changes. Now, let's see. Okay, your setting has been changed. Now, let's just test our payment method. Alright, our PayPal. Kung mag-go through ba siya. So, let's just add to cart. This one. And then, nasa na ang ating view cart. Add to cart, tapos view cart na yun. Alright, so let's just update the card. Gawin lang natin itong one. Masyado nang mahal yung ano. Masyado nang mahal lang ating pera. Ayan, proceed to check out. Once we proceed to check out, let's see here. Bibilhin na natin. Ayan na siya. So, pwede kang mag-billing details. First name, last name, company name, country, emerald eme payment method. There you go. So, PayPal. Pay via PayPal. Ganto ganyan. PayPal sandbox enabled. Pag enabled mo yung sandbox, of course, this is just a test. So, let's just fill up the information above. Let's just say Charina, of course, my name, Aquar, my last name, company name, wala. Philippines, yes, correct. Street number, blah, 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 street. Apartment, um, or compound. Hello? May ganun ba? City of Los Angeles. Pampanga. <laughs> Pampanga pala. Visit. Ayan. So, postcode. Hindi ko alam postcode ng Pampanga. But, uh, you say, phone number, of course, para makontak ka nila. 09. Hindi ko yan number, guys, ah. Email address ko, of course, yan. Alright, so let's see. Let's now test our PayPal payment. So, ito yung sinat-up natin kanina. Proceed to PayPal. No shipping method has been detected. Please double check your address. Oh, grabe naman to. Ayaw mo nang, ano. So, house number 114. Um, ano ba yung mga barangay sa, ano, sa ating... Pampanga. Um, um, uh, okay, any suggestion, guys? Di ko alam eh. San Fernando. Thank you. Thank you, Jojo. Ayan. So, wag lang natin lagyan ng ano. Ayan. So, let's see here. Proceed. I know shipping method has been detected. Ano ba ang shipping method natin? Nakapaglagay ba tayo ng shipping method? Yes. Shipping method. Ayan. Um, lagyan natin ng, ayan, shipping. Ship to a different address. Lagay natin dito. Ship natin. Okay. Ayaw niya pa rin. Hindi. Mali yan. Let's try one more time. Baka ayaw na naman niya. 
Ano ba? No shipping, ano? No shipping method has been selected. Please double check your address or contact us if you need help. Tama naman to, di ba? Angeles pa. Angeles. Okay, so company name, San Fernando, ayan, Aquara Compound, mga uh, ganyan. Product, PayPal. I think this is correct. Ayaw pa rin niya. Ano bang mali sa ginagawa natin? Sa WooCommerce. Oh, very good, Kenji. Maglagay tayo ng... Mag-select muna tayo ng, ano, ng shipping. Shipping method has been selected. No shipping method. Punta tayo ngayon sa ating shipping method. I thought we already have that enabled. Let's go back to our settings. Let's just see our shipping method. Let's go here. Okay, shipping method. Ayan. So, tama naman. Alright. So, let's just check, check here. It won't allow us to do anything right at the moment. Shipping, shipping, shipping. Shop. Ah, kasi nga wala nga sa Pampanga. Kaya pala. Okay. So, we didn't add Pampanga here. We just added right here. Ito lang pala yung mga pinag add natin. Kaya pala. So, guys, if you would like to ship all over the world, you need to select all of the world or yung mga, mga pwede lahat. So, let's just stick to our Manila na lang. Pala Manila, Philippines, Mauay. Street address, Mau. Hindi pala. Ano na nga ba tong, ano? Correctional, hindi pala. 9, 9 de Pebrero. Pebrero. Baka ang tingin nyo na ako, ha? Siyempre, hindi yan yung address ko. Mauay. Ayan. Uh, Manila. Ayan. So, papayag ka naman na siguro sa ating uh, payment. Okay. So, I didn't select Pampanga pala. So, eto na lang tayo sa Manila. Okay, let's see now kung gagana ang ating PayPal. So, ayan na siya. So, once na napunta sa, siya sa ating PayPal, pay with PayPal, pwede na siya, magsa-select na siya dito sa login ng customer. So, ito yung login ng customer, ha, yung bumibili. Okay, enter mo yung email address mo and then yung password mo, tapos maglalogin ko lang, tapos i-charge na nila sa'yo. So, ganun lang yan. Okay, so that means that the PayPal has been selected. Okay. Mukhang di ka naka-business account coach. No. This is a personal account. Pag business account ba, ano nga yung PayPal ng business account? Ganon. Alright. So, that's how you can add the PayPal set up for your WooCommerce. So, yun lang naman. Basta in mo lang siya sa PayPal, okay na yun. Mag, uh, Mag-go-go through na yan sa customer, whether naka-business account siya or personal account or kung ano-ano mang account. Nakadepende na yun, basta gumagana siya. Ah, later yan, guys. This is the MasterCard na lalabas o Visa card. Actually, yun nga, meron may mga ganyan, yung mga business account, but that's not part of our scope na kasi PayPal na yan eh. Ah, uh, pwede po ba maka-receive ng payment kami if personal? Personal, you mean yung kanina? Yeah, I'll discuss that. Na-discuss ko ata yan last time eh. Alright, going back here guys sa ating setting. So, nakita nyo kanina yung PayPal, yung mga direct transfer and everything. Going back right here to our settings. Okay, tuturo ko na sa inyo kung paano. That's just for the PayPal. And now, let's go back to the different payment options now let's go to payments again you can see here yung direct bank transfer okay you can see also check payments okay cash on delivery so ang gagawin nyo lang naman dito guys so, so by direct bank transfer take pay uh, payments in personal via BACS more commonly known as direct bank wire transfer 
Ito yung parang pinapadala sa'yo. Para siyang Cebuana sa US eh. Yung wire transfer na yan. So, all you need to do is to update that. Okay. So, just select this. Okay. It's taking some time. Ayan. Tapos, sa setup mo lang siya. Click on setup. So, if it's all about payments, just go to WooCommerce and then payments. Now, may kita nyo dito yung instruction. Okay, please provide your ID. Meron na siyang default na sinasabi na make your payment directly into our bank account. So, kumbaga, ang ginagawa ng customer, parang sa smart, uh, nakapag, ano na ba kayo ng smart plan? Ang ginagawa ng smart plan is kagaya nito, direct, direct na bank transfer. So, what are they going to do is that, Pag nakuha mo na, for example, yung cellphone or bago mo makuha yung product, okay, mag aas sila ng payment. So, ibibigay nila sa'yo yung iyong first is yung kanilang bank account. Ayan, for example, ang bank account mo is ganyan, tapos BDO. Ayan, pwede mo naman ilagay dito, ano na lang, dito na lang para mas professional. Bank account is... BDO, ayan. BDBO, BDO, ayan. Tapos, bank uh, account number. Ayan. Account number. And then, ano pa ba yung mga nilalagay? Yan lang naman na, name. Account holder. Ayan, so sabihin mo, Charina Akor, the president. Hmm? Ambisyosa, the president, parang gusto. Account details, ayan, meron na siyang account name, account number, bank transfer, ganito, ganyan. Ay, instruction pala to, sorry. So, pag instruction na sinabi, go to your nearest store, ay, nearest, ano, ano ba yung mga pangalan, bank or yung mga transfer, mga Western Union, Union, Cebuana, Emerald. Provide the details. Fill up information. Tapos, fill up information. Provide ID, mga ganyan. Basta mga instruction yan. Tapos, account name. Ah, pagod na ako, ikakapipaste ko na lang. Ayan, meron naman na dito sa mismong ano natin, account name. Siyempre, gusto ko yung president. Ayan. Tapos, account number. O, oh, ba Account number. Tapos, bank name. Siyempre, yung bank name natin is ito. By the way, guys, I hate BDO. Why? Wala lang. I just hate them. Short, uh, short code. So, kung baga, pag may code yung transfer mo, mga ganyan. Gushi Gang. Gushi Gang. IBAN. I don't know what IBAN is. And then SWIFT. Basta yung mga bank na wire wire transfer na yan. And then, click on add account. So, pag na-add account mo na yan, save changes. Okay. And then, let's see what difference does it make sa ating mahal na WooCommerce. Okay. So, let's see here. Your settings has been changed. Let's go back to our products. View store. Okay. So, let's just wait for it. And here we go. So, mag-add to cart na naman tayo. Bumili na naman tayo ng product. Tapos, huwag natin bayaran. Masaya ka dyan, di ba? Mm -hmm. Alright. So, dalawa. Ayan mo na yan. Proceed to check out. And ayan na yan. Okay, let's see kung ano magiging itsura niya. Okay, may kita nyo na dito ng direct bank transfer. Ayan. So, pag clinic nyo yung direct bank transfer, may kita nyo na dito, make your payment directly into our bank account. Please use your ID as a payment reference. You will uh, be shipped Emerald, Emerald. So, place your order. Sasabihin niya, ito yung magiging itsura niya. So, let's just wait for this white screen, parang hinahabol ka lang ng ano, ng multo ng kahapon. Hmm? 
Tapos may iiyak ka. Eme! Tagal ah. Place lang ng order. Abutin pa ng sham-sham. Okay, let's just wait for it. Maybe it's think- thinking. Thinking of the days you were together. Hindi. Ayoko. Ano? Ang tagal naman niya. Okay, hintayin natin siya ha. Alright, so let's just wait for this. Okay, 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 okay. Ayan na. There you go. Order received. Thank you for your order. Yan. Number. Order number 82. Date number. Wow. Diba? Ang bongga. May ganyan. Pay mag direct bank transfer. Go to your nearest bank. Western Union, Savona. Fill up the information. Emerald, Emerald. Okay, so our bank details. Ayan na yan. Tapos, syempre, kapag ka na-receive ko na, for example, na-receive ko na yung order ni customer, tapos na-receive ko na yung payment niya, syempre, mag email yan. So, lagyan mo naman sa, ano, lagyan mo rin dito sa information mo na after you, ano, after you, the, you are done with the transfer, kindly email as your receipt. Ha, ah, ganon. Then, that's the time na pwede mong ipadala yung order, okay? So, ganun lang yung direct bank transfer. Okay, very good. Now, going back to our payments, let's go now to... Ano yung susunod? Okay, so mga sham-sham. Check payments. So, think, think payments in personal via checks. This offline gateway can also be useful to test purchase. So, yung mga check payments, yun yung mga pang ano... Ang mga check ba itong? Hindi ko alam. We're not usually using this, but just, let's just try, okay? So, let's click on setup. Just for WooCommerce purposes. Okay, description. Same lang din siya. Please, a check store in the name Store Street Store Town Country Postcode. Ah, mismong check na ipapadala. Tapos, isesend na lang sa'yo, ganon. Send screenshot. Yes, very good. Send screenshot. Mga ganun. Pwede nyo ilagay yun sa mga information nyo. So, instruction. Same as instruction. Go to ME. Provide ano. Provide and padalo the money. Money to... Money to us. Ayan. After padala, please send receipt. Ay, receipt, receipt, receipt. Ano spelling ng receipt natin? Mali-mali pa. Ano yung spelling ng receipt? Putik na yan. Bobo sa spelling eh. Recite yan eh. Hindi yan recite. Eh. Ano spelling ng receipt? R-E-C-E-I-P-T. Ay, <laughs> tama pala ako nung una. Nag-doubt pa ako sa sarili ko. Yan. So, tama naman pala tayo. May mga bagay talaga na minsan nagda-doubt tayo sa sarili natin. And that's not good, guys. Always believe in yourself. Hindi po ako lasin. Hmm? <laughs> Ayan na. So, click mo lang yung save changes and then let's just check the difference. Okay. So, sabi dito, your settings have been changed. Your cart is empty. Okay. Wait, check payments kasi kailangan pa rin hintayin mag-clear ang, ang check, let's say, 3 to 5 days. Yes, very good yan. So, if you have some additional details, lagi yung sabihin dito na, wait for, ano, wait for 3 to 5 days. Depende yan sa inyong banko. Tama ka. Yeah, na-experience ko dati sa customer ko, from HostGate, um, from, ano, HostGator ako, diba? Tapos, Sa Pilipinas, merong, ano, check transfer din nato Hindi, direct transfer. Parang ganon. Ngayon, pinadala nila yung, ano, pinadala nila yung, hindi pala, nagtrabaho pala ako sa commercial lang to, ha? Nagtrabaho ako sa GoDaddy. Tapos, yung GoDaddy sa web hosting company din. Tapos, sabi ni customer, may nang scam sa kanya, Filipino to, ha? Sabi niyang ganon. Pinadala ko na yung, ano, pinadala ko na yung pera via Cebuana, sabi ganon. Sabi namin, nagtaka kami, hindi po, wala po kaming ano, si Buana na account. Sabi namin ganun. Hindi nyo po pwedeng ano, ibigay yung sa amin yung resibo kasi wala naman kaming si Buana na account. Siyempre, saan mo pinadala, ba 
Kaya, ikukonta kanya yung mismong pinagpadalhan niya. Baka naman reseller yun or something like that. Nascam siya ng isang Pilipino din ata. Parang gano'n. Akala niya, go daddy yung ano. Kasi may mga gano'n na... Tapos nag-wait pa siya ng 3 to 5 days para lang ma-transfer yung money. So, that's not really good, guys. Huwag yung gagawin yun. Scamming is bad. So, babalik yan sa inyo mga... Pag nasa kabilang buhay na kayo. Hmm? Huwag naman. Okay, so, eto na siya. Let's just go here. Let's return to our shop. And let's add to cart one more time. Tignan naman natin ngayon. View cart. And let's continue on. Check out. Proceed to check out. Anong magiging itsura niya? Okay, let's see here. There you go. Check payment. So, please send to store name. Store Street Town Emerald M. Ayan. Tapos, place order ka lang. Okay, may kita mo na naman dito kung yung mga message na or instruction na binigay natin kanina. So, ayan na. Number 83, Emerald Emerald. Ganyan na. Oh, go to M. Provide and padala the money to us. Very konyo, ano? <laughs> Tumatawa na naman ako mag-isa. Okay, so that is for the check payments. And, ano pa yung isa kanina? Yung check payments, direct bank transfer, and PayPal. Now, let's go back again to payments. Let's do the others. And let's go on cash delivery. Favorite natin to. So, once you click on cash delivery, let's see here. Go to have your customer pay with cash upon delivery. So, set up. Ito yung favorite natin. Madalas sa Lazada, nag-order ako. Cash on delivery. Pag may problema. Ay, ayoko po to. Balik nyo po. Balik. May mga ganun. So, yan. So, pwede nyo siyang gawing title. Cash on delivery. Description. Pay with cash upon delivery. Instruction. Pay with cash upon delivery. Tama naman. Ganyan talaga yung pay with cash upon delivery. So, ito. Nalagay mo lang yung shipping method mo. Ito yung mga pinaglalagay natin shipping method, whether it's flat rate, outside Manila, free shipping, and eklabu, eklabu. So, kumbaga, kung meron ka neto, okay, add mo lang lahat. Of course, add na natin lahat yan. Free shipping. So, na yun? Ayan, free shipping. Ano pa? Ma Manila, outside Manila. Ako, hindi na natin na-add yung pala isa kanina. Ayan. Select mo lang lahat. Siyempre, ayan. O, na-select na yan. Okay. So, once na na-select mo na lahat, okay, accept COD if the order is virtual. So, let's just click on that, then save changes. Now, let's go here to our product. Let's return to shopping. Eklabu. Return to shopper. Shop lang pala. Shopper. Okay, so it's taking some time kasi hindi naglo-load pa lang. Alright, so let's just add it to cart one more time. Hindi, gusto ko ito naman pala ang select natin. Bibili naman tayo ngayon ng pinaglalagay natin dito. Ayan, gawin natin hardbound. Ayan, 3,000. Malo, no? Yan talaga. Alam niyo ba kung magkano ginastos ko sa libro ko? Yan, Harry Potter. Nakayigit ano ako. 4K. Oh, ganun kamahal ang mga libro. Pero, investment mo naman yan. Maganda magbasa. Magbasa-basa kasi, mag, syempre, experience mo din or ano din. Parang, ano siya. Kumbaga, ma-enhance eh, ma mo naman lahat. Mag-escape mo. Ganun. So, eh, I encourage you guys to read books. It's very good. Wala na maisip na ano pa. Very good. Oh my God. Wala ka na naisip. Okay, it has been added to your cart. Let's just go here. And we go ahead and proceed to check out. So, once you proceed on check out, may kita na natin dito. So, same-same lang yung ating details. Then, go here. There you go. Cash upon delivery. So, well, let's say the place order. So, the more the merrier. Kung baga, mas maraming ways na magbayad, mas madami kang customers. May mga tao na, or may mga shop na ang ina-accept lang is PayPal. Ngayon, nawawalan sila, of course, ng mga 
mga tawag dito, mga customer na kayang magbayad via uh, COD lang or kayang magbayad upon ano lang, card info. So, yan. So, like as mentioned, the more the merrier. May kita nyo na dito ngayon yung details ko. And then, thank you! Back ordered, eme eme. Bidding address. So, ipapat i-deliver na nila dito sa shipping. Shipping address, syempre. Hindi sa bidding. Bidding address and shipping address are two different ones. Shipping address na yun. Okay, so, yan na yun sa cash details. Um... I think so. So, let's check if tinatanggap. Tinatanggap nga ba yun? I'm not really sure. Eh. Okay, going back right here. Now, yun lang yung payments na payment na kayang i-accept ni WooCommerce. Now, napansin nyo, wala yung direct na magbayad via cash. Or, uh, sorry, direct na magbayad via, via bank. Na parang uh, idededak na siya via bank. Don't worry guys, we have some options how to do that. Yung tipong babayaran nila agad-agad. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do for us to enable that kind of option is to setting up Stripe. Yan yung plugin na tinatawag natin para makapag-add tayo ng card sa ating WooCommerce. So this is about plugin. So what we're going to do is to go to our plugin and add new. Okay, and then once we click on add new... We will see here na meron na tayong Stripe. Okay, search natin yung Stripe. Ayan. So, isearch mo lang dito yung Stripe. May kita mo na dito si WooCommerce Stripe Payment. Na-install ko na siya before but I haven't activated it. So, once na ma-click mo, parang click lang mo lang dito. Ito yan na yung my WooCommerce. Okay, so click mo lang yung Activate. Okay, click lang natin yan. May kita mo na dito ngayon si WooCommerce Stripe Gateway. Now, let's just see here kung ano nang magiging itsura. Let's go to our settings. So, Stripe is a way for you to add more payment option. Now, punta tayo ngayon dito sa payments. Okay, so let's see what's the difference now. Okay, so let's just wait for it. Ala, hindi ko naman ina. I-clinic yung WooCommerce, ah. Ay, yung WP form. Niloloko ako na ito. Settings, again. And then, go to... Oh, ba't napunta doon? Settings, settings. Then, go to our... Ah, kasi nagko-connect doon. I hate it. Ulit, ulit, ulit. Ala! Wait lang ah. Niloloko ako na itong ano na to eh, WooCommerce eh. Papakita na naman yung existing ano. X ko na nga lang to. Okay, settings and then go back to payments. Now, let's see. Okay, here we go guys. Once na na-activate mo yun na yung Stripe, napansin nyo na dito, nagkaroon na tayo ng Stripe credit card. Stripe works by adding payment fields on the checkout and sending the details to your Stripe verification. Guys, ang Stripe ay parang pioneer or ano, how do you pronounce that? Pioneer, pioneer. Pioneer, of course. Pioneer, okay. Bali, i-coconnect mo siya. Yung Stripe na yun, i-coconnect mo sa card mo. Dito ka tatanggap ng pera. So, para, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano. So, let's say ito lang siya. Kasi ito naman, direct debit, ban, ban contact, ayan, EPS, Ideal, Alipay, Multibanko. So, ito lang naman yung kailangan natin dito sa Stripe. Ito lang guys ha. Then, click mo yung enable. Okay, and then isa-setup na natin siya. Okay, once na na-setup mo siya, ito na yung magiging itsura. So, credit card, pay with your credit card Stripe, and then test publish key. So, dito, ang gagawin natin, meron kasi itong settings. We don't have to do that right now. In light to card, ayan, hayaan nyo lang muna yan. Papakita ko sa inyo paano yan. Payment buttons, payment option, buy, dark, and eklabo, eklabo. So, save changes mo lang yan. Okay, settings change, save. And then, let's go now to our payment. Okay, let's go back here. 
Ingay ng dog. Hold on. Ingay ng aking asu. Ang aming asu si Dugan. Hold on guys. Ayan na. So, punta tayo ngayon sa ating store. Going back right here. May ingay ba siya? Okay. So, let's go back here. And then, may kita nyo na dito yung art to cart. Okay, view cart. And then, let's pay using that particular um, stripe card. So, hindi pa yun natatapos na yung setup, ha? Pero ito yung magiging itsura niya. Ah, dahil nga hindi pa siya nasa setup. Hindi pa siya magpapakita dito. So, hindi siya nagpapakita dito kasi hindi pa siya completed. Yun pala yun. Okay, so now that we have right this stripe, okay, you really need this. Pag may kita nyo dito, may kita nyo webhook endpoints. You must add the following webhook endpoint. Itong banda na to, stripe to your stripe account. This will enable you to receive notifications on the charges status. So, click natin tong stripe accounts. Yes, pwede pong palitan. Uh, actually, that's a good idea kasi syempre pag makapinoy yung ano, mag makapinoy yung website mo. Ayan. Ayan. So, may kita nyo dito, Stripe. So, pag clinic nyo to, eto na yung mismong Stripe na details. Maganda to guys. Actually, it's really helpful. Gamitin ko yung ating email address. Sabi natin si aquacharina at gmail.com Then, password natin. Okay, ayan. And then, click on sign into your account. Please confirm you're not a robot. Pwede pala kayo mag-sign up dito, ah. Pero ako alam ko nakapag-sign in na ako sa ganito. Traffic lights. Okay, so let's see kung incorrect email or password. Ano nga ba yung password ko dito? Okay, so hold on guys. I'm not really sure if this is the right ano, password. Ayaw pa din, malalock out na ako dito. Okay, pag wala, magsasign up tayo. So, it's much better for us to sign up. Sign up, sign up. Okay, let's see. Thank you for signing in. My God, very good. So, pag hindi wala pa kayong account, just click on sign up. Okay? So, if you fill up nyo lang naman yung information, once na nakakuha na kayo ng login page, it's like signing up to Facebook, signing up to everything like that, or anything like that. Mga simpleng sign up lang. So, once na meron na kayong account, ito yung magiging itsura niya. Let's just wait for it. Okay? Alright, so here we go. May kita nyo dito guys na meron na tayong WooCommerce. Ito, hindi natin to website kasi we're working on e-commerce. So now, since I already added here kasi nag-try ako mag-practice noon, pwede kang mag-connect ng kahit ilan. Guys, kahit ilang website dito sa Stripe account mo. So let's click on add endpoint. Okay, i-add ko ngayon yung URL natin, which is, okay, let's just see here, ito, ito yan, click-click mo lang to, copy mo to, punta ka dito sa iyong version dito, sa Stripe, okay, and then go here, delete mo to, okay, ayan na siya, select events, you can just select, um, sabihin na natin, itong events na to guys, pwede ka mamili kung gusto mo ba na yung account updated, makaka-receive ka ng email, balance, pwede ka din makapag-ask ng balance, um, ano pa ba? Charge expired, charge pending, kumbaga ito yung mga marireceive ni customer. Um, sabihin ba natin charge expired, hindi no, hindi gano. Charge failed, ayan, importante yan. Pag uh, nakareceive si customer, mamaya nag-failed pala. O, di makakareceive siya ng ganung error. Charge succeeded. Tama yan. Succeeded. Ano pa? Um, check out. Session completed. O, kailangan pa ba yun? May charge succeeded na nga eh. Coupon created. Coupon deleted. 
a credit noted, customer created, deleted, mga ganyan. So, andito lahat ng setting kung saan nag-prepare or nag add ng card. I'm hearing some noise, guys. Uh, you can uh, mute yourselves. Alright, so. Alright, going back here. Invoice created, invoice mark. So, guys, ito yung mga events to send. Okay, so kumbaga, ito yung mga marireceive ni customer. Okay, issuing card. Hindi naman lahat importante dito eh. Um, order payment failed. Ayan, importante yan. Order payment failed. Ano pa? Order. Ayan, ano pa? Order payment succeeded. Importante yan. Uh, Mag-create din tayo ng order return. Kasi importante din yan. Order return. Tama? Delete na natin yung order. Ano pa? Uh, maliban dyan sa order. Ito, payment. Payment intention updated, payment intent succeeded, payment method attach, payment payment attach updated, payout, payout cancel, payout person. So, ito yung mga ang dami ano. Hindi naman lahat guys kailangan yung i-add ha? Over na yon. Dito lang tayo sa kung ano yung importante. Okay, so source, ME, tax. Ito kung mag, -mag add kayo ng tax, pwede yan. Transfer, di naman siguro tayo mag ng transfer. And then, add endpoint. Okay na yun. Ayan. So, let's see here. Ito na yung magiging ano niya. Test data lang to. Ayan. Very good. Now, may kita nyo dito guys. Yung setting ng ating Stripe. May kita nyo dito yung hope. Activate your account. Ganyan, ganyan. Ngayon, ang gagawin ko, kasi nag ask dito ng test publish key. This is for just testing ha. Meron talaga yung mismong ano niya. Hindi nyo kailangan i-fill up to kung meron kayong Stripe account. Okay? So, since this is just for a test purposes, okay? Yun lang yung pwede natin gawin. Send test with uh, webhook. So, we don't need that. Test mode. Correct this. It's just a test mode. Now, it's asking here that test secret key. Going back here, may kita nyo dito na viewing test data. Okay. Activate your account kung mag gusto nyo i-activate. Kung gusto nyo maging live to, pwede nyo i-activate yan. Dyan sa ano. So, eto na siya. Pwede nyo siya di-delete and disable. Update details and everything. Ayan. May kita nyo yung login and everything like that. Punta tayo ngayon sa API keys. So, developer. Test data. Ayan. Publish key and secret key. So, here, click natin to si secret key. Go back to your setting. Secret key. Ayan. Go back to your um, Stripe account. Then, ayan. Copy mo lang to si publish key. Go back again to your Stripe here. Ayan na siya. Test web secret. So, tatest pa ba natin yun? Wag na. Hindi na yan importante. Okay, so, statement descriptor, not ready. Okay, let's add. Save changes. Okay, now, once it's saved, let's check kung magiging okay ba ito. Alright, so, let's now refresh the page. Hi. Okay. Alright, so ayaw mawala. Ayaw mawala. Yeah, I've got my first name, last name, country, all and all right. that stuff. Alright, so now let's see here. Ito na siya. Hindi pala, mas okay pala pag nag-go back tayo dito. Ulitin na lang natin. Kasi hindi pa siya nagpapakita dito eh. Okay, going back. Okay, it's taking some time. Okay, here we go. Now, let's try to proceed to check out one more time. Let's see if it will make some difference na. Sana meron na. Mag-appear na siya. So, while waiting for that, guys, this is for you to connect your payments. Ha? May kita nyo dito yung payments. Okay, may kita nyo dito kung, kung paano nyo i-add sa card nyo. May mga balance, eklabu, yan, order, and mga kung ano-ano. 
So now, let's test here. May kita nyo na dito yung checkout payment method. And here we go. Uh, it's still loading, I think. Ayan, parehas lang yan. So, dapat meron na dito. mag a na siya. Ayaw niya. Ayaw mag ano. Ayan. Ayan. So, may kita nyo na dito si Credit Card Stripe. Pwede nyo nang mag-add ng American Express, Visa, and MasterCard. Since we are on the test mode, ito yung magpapakita parang kanina kay PayPal. Okay, now, let's see here. Ia-add lang natin to. Sabi, copy ko lang to sa card number. Pipaste ko to. Siyempre, pag may card number kayo. Automatic na yan, guys, ha? Hindi nyo na kailangan i-select kung MasterCard or American Express or Visa. Kusa na yan. Pag nilagay nyo yung number, pag nagsisimula yan sa 460 Emerald MasterCard yun. Mga ganon. The card number is incomplete. Sorry. Incomplete pala yun. May space ba? Tama na. Tama naman, diba? Ayan. Tapos, expiration date, 11, 21. 1, 2, 3. Ayan. Save payment information. So, you can unsave. Ayan. Hindi mo naman kailangan i-click to kasi magsasave na yan sa account mo or hindi. Then, click on place order. Okay. So, let's see, guys, kung ano ang magiging itsura niya. Alright, so, let's wait for it. Coach, si Stripe ba ay kasama ang MasterCard Visa, JCB, etc. Um, yes. Ito. Kaya na, pwede mo na siyang i-add. Kahit ano. So, let's just wait, okay? Now, there you go. Order receive. So, kumbaga na-charge na ako. Imagine, na-charge na ako niyan. And, ito yung magpapakita sa stripe nyo. So, bayad na yan. I-deliver na lang. Ito yung magiging itsura ng stripe nyo. Let's refresh. Tignan natin kung may pumasok na order wait, worth 800 pesos. Baka naman pag nakareceive na kayo agad ng payment, di nyo na ano ha, di nyo na ipapadala yung mga online order nyo. <laughs> Parang yung nangyari sa akin ano, nung last time. Umorder ako ng Nike shoes galing US. Ayun, ito na siya. Mamaya na yung commercial. There you go. So, dito mo makikita ngayon kung may order na. Pumasok na yan, guys. Tapos, may kita nyo dito. Okay? Refund payment, copy payment, view customer, view payment details. ba diba? Ang ganda ng stripe. Now, may kita nyo dito yung customers nyo dun sa left side of the screen. Activate your account. So, question. Paano ko po if forward to or maka credit to sa aking ano sa aking payment method or sa aking ano sa aking magiging cash ganun or magiging magiging uh, connected or magiging or magiging pera siya sa aking bank so you need to activate your account guys for you to do that of course and then ang gagawin mo lang is for you to connect your card details to your Stripe account okay so, ganun lang naman yun. Ayan. So, may kita nyo na dito yung business presented, card statement, bank, two-step, everything like that. So, kailangan nyo syempre i-connect yung card details nyo dito. Okay? Bago kayo makapag ganun. So, after nyo makakuha ng ganong account or ganong mga payment method, may kita nyo na dito yung inyong balance. Um, Customers, reports, radar, billing, connect, mga ganon. So, ayan, add bank account, ganon. Please add USD United account to pay USD balance, kaya ayan. So, ganyan lang yung gagawin nyo, guys. Kung baga, i-add nyo lang siya or i-connect nyo lang siya sa inyong card details. Automatic na yun, automatic na yun. So, yan kung paano gumana ang stripe. Okay, any questions so far? Nan still good. Okay, so now let's do now next the tapos na tayo sa payment method. Now let's do a promo, promo, promo code and creating coupons. So sa promo naman na to guys, pagaya ng ginawa natin sa sales kanina. Okay, if you go to visit our stores, let's go to, again to our 
By the way guys, itong stripe na to, okay, magre-reflect din yan sa inyong orders, okay? Sorry about that, nakalimutan ko. Eto, eto yung makikita nyo. So, yan na. So, makikita nyo na dito, processing, on hold, on hold, pending. Pwede nyo yan i-change. Siyempre, pag na-complete nyo na, okay? Ayan. So, ganyan lang naman yung gagawin nyo. Dito nyo yung ma-access ma lahat yan. So, pag in-open mo to, or pag vino mo to, okay, ito yung magiging itsura niya. Papakita ko lang sa inyo. Ayan. So, yan yung magiging itsura. O, oh, diba? Free payment method. Mag Pwede kayo mag-add notes. Ito na siya, created. Pwede na siyang ipadala. Pag, syempre, pag completed nyo na, click nyo lang yung complete, Okay. So, ang ganda, no? Ang ganda ng WooCommerce plugin kasi ang dami mong pwedeng gawin. Parang, kumbaga, ito na yung Lazada mo. So, kumbaga, pagka nagka-client kayo, tapos gustong magpagawa ng WooCommerce or e-commerce na website, na all you need to do is to, the, you know, install the plugin of WooCommerce. Napaka-handy niya. Uh, very convenient. Okay, tapos, eh, papa-refund mo lang, ganito, ganyan. Siyempre, you need to ask your customer's details then, okay? Alright, now, let's go back now to our products. Now, here, on our orders, I sorry, on our products, coupons, yan, promo. Punta tayo ngayon sa ating coupons. Para magkaroon tayo ng coupon. So, now, here, we are going to create our coupons. So, coupons are a great way to offer discounts and rewards to your customer. They will appear here once created. So, once in a while naman, guys, kailangan din naman nating magbigay. Hindi puro receive lang tayo. Kasi hindi yun mag-work. Kaya walang nagtatagal na relasyon dahil sa mga ganun. Okay? Dapat give and receive. Ganun. Pero it's okay for you to give lang ng give. Hmm? Martir. <laughs> Joke lang, guys. Pero dapat ganun. Alright, so, create your first coupon. Coupon or coupon? I usually use coupon. Generate a coupon code. So, guys, pwede ka mag-generate. Pwede ka ding mag-change. Okay? So, sabihin na natin, ano? Sabihin natin, magka-create tayo ng coupon natin. Ilang percent ang shipping fee sa Stripe? Guys, walang ano ha, walang shipping fee na sa Stripe. Kumbaga, online payment yan. Kagaya ng Payoneer. Ang shipping method na binigay ko is the shipping method mismo na create natin sa WooCommerce. Coach, may, may deduction kanina na $0.75 dun sa payment. Ah, oh, I didn't notice that. Dito po. Ano lagay na fee? Yes, yung dun sa plus na pinakita mo. Hmm, let's go back here. Baka nga meron. So, meron siyang payment. Oo nga naman. Hindi ko siya napansin kanina. Let's go here. So, meron siyang deduction. Wait lang po ah. Very good question po ma'am. Thank you. Alright, so let's just see kung ano yung sinabi niya yung ma'am. Ah, oo nga, $0.75. Magkano yan? So, uh, pagka ganito na may stripe fee pala, pag gagamitin nyo yung, ano niya, yung, yung online fee na yan na stripe, meron siyang bayad. So, just uh, let your customer know. Thank you so much, ma'am Beth. I didn't notice that. So, meron siyang bayad na 0.75. Magkano pala yan? Magkano yan mga ano? 20 pesos ba yan? Hindi. Hindi lang 20 pesos. Mga ano yan? 37. Mga 37. O oh, yun. O oh, yun nga. Tama. 37 pesos. Yes po. So, kumbaga 37 pesos pala siya. So, I would suggest na ang gawin nyo na lang, kung gagamitin nyo sa Stripe, tasan nyo na lang yung product nyo, lagyan nyo na agad ng Stripe fee na 37 pesos para may pambayad kayo sa Stripe. Pero, you can actually do na lang na yung mismong, kasi may bayad talaga talaga yung mga add ng card, 
card details, online payment. I don't see any free na lang na ano. Yes, tanungin na lang siguro ang client. Very good. Tanungin na lang din ang client kung gusto niyang, gusto niya ng Stripe na gamitin. So, yan na lang. Sabihin nyo na lang na heads up nyo na meron siyang 0.75 na fee pag gagamitin yung Stripe. Ganun siya. Kasi yun nga naman, ano pala to? PayPal. Mas maliit naman pala siya compared sa PayPal. Uh, mas mahal ba pag PayPal? Um, I'm not really sure. I haven't, ano yan. Hindi ko pa siya na experience si PayPal. Almost 7% siya. Ay, ang mahal. Ang mahal naman po yes. pala. Yes, sa 500 na payment sa akin, nung nakarating na lang 464.50. Ala, grabe naman po sila. Ang mahal naman pala magbayad ng ano, ng PayPal. Huwag nyo na pong gamitin yun. Mag ano na lang kayo, mag stripe na lang kayo kung ganun. Actually, enough ko na siya. Wala ah, na akong no. payment option na PayPal. Kasi ano po, ay, mahal eh. Parang dun na rin Laki. na yung pondo nyo po. Hmm. Yes, yung, yung income nandun na lang. Oh, tama. So, like, ano, moving forward po, no, huwag na lang gamitin. Para, lesson na din yun sa mga mag-web develop, o yung magagawa din ng website. So, um, charge to experience na din. Tama si Ma'am Beth. Thank you for sharing po, Ma'am Beth. Kung ako, gagamitin ko din yun. Di na bawas po, asa na ako naging, ano, ganun din kamahal. Mahal po pala, no? Grabe. Kaya pala, mas, kaya pala ang daming pera ng PayPal eh. Alright. So, ganun pala siya. Ito siya. So, 0.75 lang sa Stripe. And yung PayPal pala mas mahal. So, very good that we introduced this Stripe. Mas okay naman siya. Recommended din to sa mga nakita kong mga reviews ng Stripe. So, you can actually use this. Okay? Alright. So, now going back here. Ano na yung susunod natin gagawin? Coupons. Alright. So, kukunin natin yung coupons. Gagawa na tayo ng coupons ngayon. And, don't worry guys. I'll try to find a way na makakuha tayo ng free na parang online transfer. Kasi that's impossible din. Kasi lahat. Kasi may fee na ngayon eh. But I'll do my best to check na lang. Okay. Create your first coupon. So, click natin to. Pero may bumibili talaga gamit ay PayPal. Taasan na lang ang presyo. Depende pa din sa client natin. Tama. Mas taasan na lang ang presyo. Ganon din kasi yung ginagawa ng, ano, eh, ng ibang company. Mas tinataasan yung presyo ng product nila. Kasi yung daming charges. Okay. Sabihin natin dito, ang coupon code natin is summertime. Sabihin natin Valentine's. Valentine's Day. New Year. New Year Special. Ayan, yan yung coupon natin. New Year Special. Ay, parang may space. Wala palang space to gapat. New Year Special na lang. Description ng code for those... Hindi na lang. Nag-English pa ako eh. Para sa inyo. <laughs> Hindi alam yung English ng para sa inyo. Wise it. Okay, so now may kita nyo dito na fixed card discount. Pwede kasi yung lagyan ng limitation. For example, pwede nyo gawing fixed, uh, fixed card option lang. Okay. Uh, opo, joke lang po yun. Grabe naman kayo sa akin. Okay, so fixed card discount. Okay, pwede nyo siyang gawin na uh, every, every product pwede nyo lagyan ng uh, coupon discount. Tapos, fix uh, product discount, pwede nyo din mag-add ng mismong amount. Lang nang pwede. So, eto, percentage discount, kung ilang percento lang yung ibibigay nyo. For example, 20%. Uh, 30% pa lang. Ayan. So, allow shipping. Check this box if the coupon grants free shipping. A uh, free shipping must be enabled in your shipping zone and set to required valid fee. So, kumbaga, mag-free shipping na siya, ihalaw ba natin ang free shipping? Yes, 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 kasi sa, uh, kasi New Year. So, pwede mo rin siyang -expi may expiration date din siya. So, may mga ibang, ano, may mga ibang store na ang ginagawa, may secret code pa eh, di ba? Mga, for mga newbies, ganon. For mga newly, 
newly customers. Pwede yun. So, kumbaga, dito nyo lang siya ilalagay. So, sabihin na natin, gawin natin hanggang expiration ng hanggang dito. January 3. Okay, so now usage restriction, minimum spend, no minimum spend, or maximum spend. Ano ba yung ilalagay natin? Sabihin natin minimum spend ng 300. Tapos maximum spend ng uh, 500. Hindi pala, gawin na natin. Ay, wag na natin no maximum spend na tayo. Basta minimum lang tayo. Pag nakabili sila ng 300, um, pag nakabili sila ng product worth 300, meron na silang 30% discount. Okay? Nya, now, pwede mo, lang kasi, pwede mo kasi siyang inimit sa maximum spend. May mga tao kasi na tinitake advantage talaga yung mga discount. For example, ang laki kasi ng 30% kapag uh, bumili ka ng mas mahal. For example, yung Harry Potter na books, magkano, yan, magkano na yung 30% noon, di ba? So, ang 30%, kunin ko lang yung sa alpon ko para mas mabilis bagal ng computer ko. So, sabihin na natin yung Harry Potter books natin is 4K. Okay, yung 30% nun, guys, is 1 to na agad. ba Ang laki. 1 to na agad yung mababawas. Magkano na lang babayaran niya? So, kailangan, i-maximum spend mo din siya. Nakapag ka, naka 1,000 na siya, yun na yun. Yun na yung makukuha niya. So, sabihin mo na ang 1,000 ng, ang 30% lang yan is ano, 300 lang mababawas. O, pwede na yun, ba? Pag 1,000. So, ganyan lang yun. Lagay nyo lang. Huwag nyong masyadong, ano, i huwag nyong ipaabuso sa kanila yung mga discount. Kasi mahirap. Mahirap na may mga marurunong talagang customer na nagde-discount or tinitake advantage yung discount. Kagaya nung na-experience namin last time. Nag, ano, nag, nag discount si Hostgator. Yung sinasabi nilang Black Friday sale. Ang ginawa ng mga customer, kinansel nila yung mismong product nila na currently ngayon, yung mag-expire na. Tapos, bumili sila ng bago using yung talagang discounted na price. So, ang nangyari ngayon, sabi, nag-request siya nung binili na niya, nung binili na niya yung product. Tapos, sabi, may free migration kasi sa host gate or kapag uh, gano'n. Tapos, nag-request siya ng migration. Kasi tatlong beses, ta, parang tatlong beses na yung ginagawa yung gano'n. Ika-cancel niya, tapos pag may sale, bibili na naman siya ng bago. Parang every year ginagawa niya. Tapos, yung last time na ginawa niya, nag-email si host gate sa kanya, sabi, sabi sa kanya gano'n. Sorry, sabi niya, we, we can no longer have your site migrated. You you were tagged as uh, coupon abuse na parang ganun. We do not tolerate emerot emerot na parang masyado mo lang ina-abuse yung, ano, eh, yung discount ng host gate. Or kumbaga, scam ka na, fraud ka na. So, hindi dapat tinotolerate yung mga ganun. So, same goes here. Nakapag ka may napansin ka na masyadong inaabuso na yung coupon mo or something like that. Siyempre, wag mong itolerate. Itatag mo siya or i-email mo siya na ay mali na yung ginagawa mo. Nakakasira ka ng business, parang ganun. Pero huwag mo naman sabihin nakakasira ka ng business. Pero sabihin mo lang, eh, siyempre, in a nice way na uh, you've been tagged as a you know, coupon abuser, mga ganun-ganun. So, may mga tao talagang ganun. Ang dami ko na-experience na ganyan, especially yung mga, hindi naman sa pagiging racist, ah. Yung mga Amerikano talaga, grabe yung mga yan. As in, kahit yung point centavo lang na ano, sa kanila yung mga cents lang, hinahanap talaga nila yun. Tapos, ano, every every money counts kasi sa kanila eh. Masyadong ano. Tapos yung mga Indiano din, ay grabe yung mga Indiano. No, 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 I would like to get that the discount. Ganto ganyan. Ganun pa sila magsalita. Ang hirap intindihin. My God, guys. Araw-araw ganun yung kinakausap natin. So, ganun lang. So, lesson learned. Mga ganun. Uh, in case in the future na, ano, may experience nyo yun, ba? So, it's good na malaman nyo yung mga ganun bagay. Na may mga tao talagang abusado. Okay, going back here. So, check this box if the coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons. So, kumbaga, dito naman sa check this box, yung individual use only, kapag ka may discounted price ka na kapag na-add na mo na to, okay, pag na-check out mo na siya, hindi mo na siya pwedeng patungan pa ng iba. 
So, tama to, individual use lang siya. Kasi pagka mamaya patong-patong na yung discount, mautak yung customer mo, o oh, eto na lang babayaran niya, lugi ka, ba diba? Pero kung talagang magbi- mapagbigay ka naman, oh, go ahead, i-uncheck mo to, mapagbigay ka. Yan. Kaya kinukuha din ng iba yung sa'yo. Hmm? Iba na yun. <laughs> Yuck lang. Okay, so check this box if the coupon should not apply to items on sale. For item coupons will only work if the item is not on sale. For cu- card coupons will only work if their items is card or sale or not. So, tama to. A great example is yung kay Zalora. Ang ginawa niya is, nag, uh, may mga items siya na naka-sale na. Talagang discounted na yung price. And then, pwede ka pang get extra, ano, get extra 30% discount. Yun na mismo, yun sa sinabi niyang get extra 30% discount, pwede ka na ulit mag-add ng coupon doon. Okay. Tapos selected lang yung mga items na gusto mo. So, pwede yan. Okay. Check mo yan kung gusto mo yung ganun. Pero, syempre, madalas, coupon abuse na din yun. Masyado mo na binibigyan si customer, pero carry lang naman kung kaya, kaya naman. ba? Diba? Check mo to kung ganun, extra discount. Now, product, search for product na pwedeng, pwedeng ito lang yung ma-add. So, ito, great example din yung kay Zalora na limited lang yung mga products na naka-sale. So, for example, gusto ko lang i-add si Harry Potter. Harry Potter na product. So, ayan, searching siya. Medyo matagal siya. Ayan. Pero mag a naman siya dito. So, ang struggle mo lang dito, guys, kasi iisa-isahin mo siya, tama? Ganun lang siya. Iisa-isahin mo siya. So, copy natin ito, in case mamaya itatry natin. Ayan, itatry natin siya. Um, try natin din si, si ano, si Scarhead. Kasi walang ano eh, walang sale para si Scarhead na ano. Scarhead na ating, eto, t-shirt, ayan. Si white na t-shirt, white lang. So, pwede mo, hindi ko alam kung pwede mong iselect all to. Ayan. Pwede mong iselect all. I-click mo lang yung control, guys. Control sa keyboard mo. Then, select mo lang sila isa-isa. Pero, ayan. Nagbabago na yung font ng, ano ko, font ng aking. Ayan. So, pwede mo siyang iselect dito. Kasi masyado na siyang, ano, masyado siyang madami kung ganun. Click mo lang yung control, okay? Ayan, click mo lang control, control, control pababa, control ulit pababa. Ayan, so ang dami. Ayan, so nasilag na ata siya lahat. Hindi pa. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, ayan, dami. So, try natin yan yan. Tapos, exclude products. Pwede ka lang mag-exclude dito. So, matrabaho talaga si coupon. Pero, it's worth it naman. Any category. So, sirin na natin si books, si clothes. Ayan. Pwede din yan. Tapos, pwede din mo din exclude to, guys. Kung gusto mo. Pero, syempre, at natin, exclude categories. Allowed emails. No restriction. Okay na yan. So, kikita mo na dito si publish. Okay. Then, usage limit pala. Usage limit per coupon. So, sabihin natin dito, how many times this coupon can be used? So, syempre, one lang, di ba? One. One lang yan. Oo, sana all talaga. Okay, so limit usage for X items. The maximum number of individual items in this coupon can be applied to when using product discounts. Leave blank to apply to all qualifying items in the cart. Okay, qualifying items naman yan. Usage limit. Usage uh, limit per user. So how many times this coupon can be used by an individual user? So one lang din. User ID login. So, syempre, isa lang beses lang, ano? Pagka madami kasing beses, ako, kung saan-saan na pinagbibili, kada cart na yan, kada cart, i-add na. Okay, let's wait now. Okay, try na natin tong, ano, try na natin tong 
ating coupon. Let's go here. Let's just check. I-apply natin ngayon si coupon. Tignan natin kung magti-take effect. The moment of truth. Okay, let's wait. Nine, tayo, 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 tayo nag-start, ano? Nine, ten, eleven. Two hours pala. Gagawin ko ng two hours, guys. O, oh, gawin ko ng two hours. Hindi, tapusin na lang natin to. Then the rest, you can ask question. Okay, so let's just see the coupon here. Return to shop. Let's just go to return shop. This is the last topic for the day. Di na kaya ng oras natin. Nag-end tayo sa creating uh, coupons. Alright, so let's click on add card. Um, oh, add card tayo. Naselect ba natin ito? Uh, sa select ko din si... Select ko si Scarhead. Hindi pala ito si Scarhead. Sorry. Ito pala. Select tayo kay Scarhead. Tapos, select tayo ng option na white. And then, select tayo ng XS. Add to cart. So, saan natin ma-apply yung coupon? Pag in-add to cart mo yan, saka mo lang ma-apply yung coupon. View cart. And then, copy na natin to. And then, coupon code. Ayan na siya. New Year is special coupon code. Apply coupon. And here we go. Coupon applied successfully. Okay, so let's see here. Coupon. Coupon is special. Minus 3,000. Oh my god. Kita mo yan, guys. Meron na siya. Subtotal is 1,000. And ito na siya. Ito na lang babayaran mo. Less 300 ka na. Diba? Ang ganda-ganda. Dalawang product na yan. Forward 700. Proceed to check out. Ganda ng WooCommerce, no? Maganda talaga siya, lalo pagka nalaman mo kung paano siya gamitin talaga. Very useful to. So, you can see here, select payment method and everything like that. Tapos, may kita mo na siya. Then, check payment method, check cash delivery, and then, place order. So, there you go. Yan kung paano tayo mag-create ng coupon. Yun lang naman, okay? So, New Year's is special. So, exclude, add products, and everything. We are done now with our discussion for creating simple products, creating group products, upsell, cross-sell, setting PayPal, Stripe, and promo, and creating coupons. So, the rest, I leave it to you guys. Any questions? You can unmute yourselves, guys. Coach? Yes po. Yung mga, ano ba, yung WooCommerce ba, meron din siyang mga SKU, SKU. Kasi yung alam ko yung mga Amazon yung SKU, SKU. Hindi po, hindi po kita marinig, sir. Ay, sorry. Yung, narinig niyo na po ako? Yes po. May SKU pa ba na ginagamit ang WooCommerce? Ah, uh, meron pa. Kasi yung, um, oh? uh, meron pa. Ah, meron din. Uh -huh. Saan po ginagamit yung SKU na yun? Parang ano lang siya, parang name lang siya actually dito sa WooCommerce. If you can see here, ano na nga ba yung product na nilagay natin yung SKU? Hold on, let's just see here. View store. Return to shop. Mag-return to shop tayo. Ay, sorry, hindi ko nakabukong yun. Wait ako. Sorry. Yung kanina po si SKU, meron po yun, meron, meron. Ah, dito ko ata siya in si SKU. Pag sinelect ko to, may kita niyo po si... Ay, ay, hindi pala to. Ito ba yun? Hindi pala siya. Saan natin yun nilagay? SKU. Ito ata siya. Books. Ito. Categories. Here we go. Ito po si SKU. Ito po ba yung tanong niyo? Si SKU? Apo. Ano yung purpose basically ng SKU ko? Ano po? Ano po yung pinaka-purpose ng SKU? Um, let's see here. Para malaman lang po yung category actually. Pag, uh, for example, nag-add tayo ah, dito, going back here. 
Pag nakita nyo po na so, add po, new ano product, siya? ito po si code, SK. Code ID ng isang item po. Yes, code ID. Yung ano, SK. Yan, tama, code ID ng item. Very good. Asa na nga ba yun? Ito siya. May kita nyo dito. SK refers to stock keeping unit. A unique uh, a, a unique identifier for each distinct product and service that can be purchased. So, tama po si sir. It's like coding para ma-identify. Identifier lang talaga siya ng product. Kung saan siya nakabase or saan yung mismong category niya. Parang gano'n. Very Parang good question po. Mm-hmm. Pag sapatos po, yung uh, SK152 Black. <laughs> oh, nice. I didn't know that. Thank you po. Hindi kasi ang, ang narinig ko kasi sa Amazon, binibili pa yung SKU. Pero yung pala... Hmm. Hindi eh, kasama na siya sa, ano, sa mismong WooCommerce mo. Siguro yung iba may Ayan. meron, if you're using Amazon, kasi sa Amazon, hindi ko alam kung gumagamit ba sila ng WordPress, may bayad talaga siya. Pero kasi kung meron ka ng WordPress, plug-in na lang. Lahat kasi plug-in na eh. Dati puro coding, actually. Coding, coding. Kaya siguro nangihingi sila ng bayad noon. Okay. Pag freelancer po kasi tayo, uh, binibigay po ng client yan. Mm, nice. Ayan po. I hope that answers your question. Thank you guys. May natututunan talaga ako sa inyo. Pag tayo lang po kasi mag-set up ng SKU, any number na gusto natin ilagay, uh, pwede po siya. Pero, pero pag yung uh, client, may sarili kasi silang ano, um, control ng number. So, kaya sila yung nagbibigay sa atin. Hmm, ganun pala yun. Oh, ganun po pala yun, sir. Opo. Uh, nagtrabaho po kasi ako sa warehouse natin. Kaya alam ko. May kanya. Ah, oh, nice. Saan pong warehouse? Parang mga ano, mga sapatos, ganun? Ah, uh, hindi po. Furniture and uh, mga items na dinideliver sa ano parang uh, oh. import and uh, distribution ay ang galing so pag mga ma- malalaki talaga ang business ano kung meron kang ano may mga product talaga na na kailangan mong ibenta online so la thank you po ngayon ko lang nalaman yun kailangan po natin yung SKU para ma-identify natin hindi ba parang mm-hmm. sabihin ay ah, yung upuan na yan na uh, ganitong kulay pero may iba-iba po kasing uh, parang specific na tawag dito uh, feature yung isang item, item. na binibenta natin. So ah. halimbawa kung a t-shirt na yung salami ni Harry Potter at yung Starhead, may isang SKU yon Halimbawa yung electric fan na Han- uh, Hanabishi o isang SKU yon na ganitong style, let's say, desk fan na ganito kaliit, isang SKU yon. So, every item, uh, regardless of color yan, ha? color, madali lang mm-hmm. kalitan. Pwede mo lagay ng black, BL, B, B, BU, mga something like that. Mm-hmm. So, kasama rin sa SKU yon, kahit yung kulay. So, oh, any nice. item, bibigyan mo siya, any distinct item, isang SKU yon. Mm-hmm. So, pwede mo siya makategorize sa CH chairs o uh, TV table mga ganyan so yun yung ano uh, codes talaga na para hindi ka malito kung saan kung ilalagay kung saan nilalagay oh, kung saan kukunin din ah, para yes. sa mga sapatos at saka okay. kung ano-anong product thank so, you po okay <laughs> ang galing recording purposes din po yun ah oh, nice. kasi control number din siya eh opo Alright, so yun po pala yung SK user. So, any questions aside from that? Coach, sa OBM ba, mag-ano ka rin, um, mag-request lang sana kung pwede ka mag-ano ng, sa e-book selling na parang WooCommerce? Uh, magbebenta po ako ng ano? Ng libro? Hindi, mag, pa, hindi po, parang sample ano WooCommerce for ebooks naman. Hindi ko lang maan. Ah, okay. Baka lang magkaroon ka ng topic na ganun sa for ano. For Ay, mer- meron po sir. Meron oh, po. Hindi. Meron po. OBM po ako. Oh, meron pala si sir. OBM class. Oh, 
provide nyo na lang po si ano, provide nyo na lang po si sir ng ano link upgrade siguro. Upgrade po siya sa OBM. <laughs> ah, need yung mag-upgrade. Okay, OBM. OBM, OBM na rin kasi ako. Uh, sang, nasa ano po ba? Sa uh, e-book selling? Uh, yes po. Nandun po yan. Uh, okay. Thank you po. Yun, thank you po. And yes, and guys, it's already 11 p.m. And this is already recorded. So, don't worry guys. Um, I-upload ko na to agad sa YouTube page. Actually, you can go to my YouTube channel siguro. Charina Aquar. Yung parang Spider-Man yung look. And uh, in-upload ko na lahat dun yung iba. And uh, it will be uploaded as well sa What Did I Miss. So, thank you guys so much sa pag-attend ng class. And if thank you, you for need further assistance, you can always PM me. Uh, lagi kong tinitignan yung chat work during my work time. You so, you can ask me uh, some questions. And guys, I would appreciate if you take time and answer the survey after this class. I will be sending it on our chat work, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year, guys. And bye-bye for now. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. bye.